Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be doing a mod for this demolisher. So all you have, it's just a lock removal though. So what you, you just take out all the screws, then you can take this that part off. Then you should be able to get the whole thing open. Having a bit of trouble though. But we've got it. <coughs> well, sometimes they just screw themselves in. And now that that's done, I'm gonna put the lock removal. When I take out the locks, I'll. Okay, so you can take out this part for now and take out the trigger. And then there, there will be a screw there. You take that out and then you take this plate off. And then you'll find this thing right here. That's a lock. So, oh yeah, that trigger might come out. So, once you take that out, you can put this back on. Okay, so now let's get on to the next lock. So then, you see this plate right here, you want to take that off. It's a bit hard. Oh. Okay, yeah, and then you see this part. This part right here is a lock, and this part is a lock and it's also got a spring in there. I'll take that out later. Um, but as you can see, I can't really show you, but I uh, can. But um, see these these two parts here. See that part and this part. They both have buttons on them, and you have to get some tape. There's, an, there's another way to do this, but this is the easiest way. But you need to get some tape and tape over the button so then it's pressed down constantly. And then once that is done, and you pretty much, then you can put everything back together. Like this. You just put everything back where it was before except for the things that I told you to take out and then once that's oh yeah I almost forgot um then if I just move this over here this is the motor and you see this part here you gotta take that out I cut mine because that made it easier so, and that will be it for 